Yo, what up? It is King Simp Ben. Don't know, <laughs> don't know if I even still call myself that. But with today, we're looking at the good side of the Roblox community. Now, I know a lot of you want me to look at the gacha side of the community, more so the good side of it. But the thing is, I tried finding that, and the first video I came across was Bad Man from Germany who invaded a lot of countries. That's an, that's an abbreviation, by the way. Asks for forgiveness. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave this video maybe on the maybe pile. We'll see, we'll see if, we can, if I can find anything else. But yeah, recently I went down like a rabbit hole of finding all these like life lesson learned Roblox videos. So today, that's what we're going to check out. And I know some people might be like, oh Ben, check out the sexy side of Roblox. Get in the bin. So with that being said, let's just, let's just watch some, <laughs> let's learn some life lessons from Roblox. I'm afraid I have some bad news. What is it, Doctor? Is everything okay? I'm sorry, but you only have 24 hours left to live. Bro, why is he smiling like that? Hey, bro, sorry sorry, I have this really big smile on my face. It's just a really funny thing to say. You are going to die, and that is hilarious. No, wait, there has to be some kind of mistake. I'd use the time you have left wisely. I've got to make the most out of the time I got left. I'm going to make these next 24 hours the best time of my life. This is so nice out in the sun. I should have gone to the pool more. Darling, I just want to let you know that I love you. Yummy! My favorite food for my last meal. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. The things I told you were for another patient. <laughs> what? Bro, you, you have a phone. Could you not have, like, called and maybe told him that? Your call is smoke. What about the other guy who just... <laughs> Some other guy has basically just left the hospital thinking he's perfectly healthy, but he's gonna die. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? So I didn't have 24 hours left to live? I'm so sorry. You're actually perfectly healthy. Doctor, these last 24 hours have been the best hours of my life. From now on, I'm going to live life like that every day. What a great life lesson, right? Basically, make sure you live every day as if it's your last, but it's not really because the doctor is incompetent and just can't tell you. There's even a comment here from someone just saying, but the thing is, I forgot to tell you yesterday. <laughs> yeah, do you know that minor thing I forgot to do yesterday? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell someone they weren't going to die. Sir, could you please spare some food? When was the last time you ate? A couple of days ago, maybe? Here's my sandwich I was going to have for lunch. Thank you, sir. I'll never forget this. Why waste food on him? You should have just walked away. Everyone deserves respect and kindness. Maybe one day you'll understand that. I'm sorry, but we are fully booked today. No, let him in. I know this man. Wait, I remember you. I gave you my sandwich that one time. <laughs> that is peak. <laughs> let me compose myself. <laughs> if I, if I... <laughs> God damn, why is, it, why is this so funny? Bro, I want to have an interaction like this. I want to go out, give a homeless person a sandwich. <laughs> I can't even finish my sentence. You helped me when no one else would, and now I'm back on my feet. Could you this fool. <laughs> I can't call a homeless person a fool. This homeless person literally went from receiving a sandwich and starving to opening like a Michelin star restaurant. Could you spare some food? I'm so hungry. You, I remember you. You were so cruel to me. I don't even remember you. Please, can you find it in your heart to help me? Here, take the food I ordered. Finally, a sandwich. Finally, the... the <laughs> finally, a sandwich. The big break that I needed <laughs> to get back up on my feet. Why did you give him food if he was so rude to you? Because you never know what some people are going through. You've always got to respect people no matter what. So what's the life lesson learned here, guys? It's basically, do not judge people based on their appearance, I guess. And even, it doesn't matter how down bad they have in their life situation right now. You should always treat them with respect and a sandwich. Finally, a sandwich. I mean, you just never know when a sandwich might give someone the motivation to open a Michelin five-star restaurant. Hey, kid, give me your lunch money. But this is my money, Brad. Give it here, or else. Okay, fine. Just please don't hurt me. Haha! -ha. Good choice, you wimp. Oh my god, no way the dweeb works here. Hello, welcome to Happy Burger. Can I take your order? Can I get one loser burger with a side of dweeb? Whoa, got him. Brad, your words actually hurt. Even after all these years, I wish you would stop. 
Bradley, go and get a job or else I'm kicking you out of the house. Oh my god, you're so annoying, Mom! We've got no money, Bradley. You need to support this family. And that conducts our interview. You're a great candidate. Oh, thanks. I really need this job. You look really familiar, Brad. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I think we went to school together. <laughs> Yeah, I think we went to school together and I used to bully you relentlessly. Bro didn't even try to hide it. Oh, that's right. You know you used to bully me all through school. Oh, really, did I? I don't really remember. Should I give Brad the job or not? You decide. Vote for part two. Hmm, we're in a bit of a dilemma, guys. Should Brad be given a second chance? I actually went through the comments of this video and it, they are absolutely hilarious. At userbrook220 said, everyone is saying to dropkick him, but everyone deserves a second chance. Even people who murder or steal from people. Steal from people, maybe, but, but not outright murder people. Not even gonna try and pronounce that username, but this comment got 5.8k likes. Drop kick him. Drop kick him out of the interview. <laughs> At George Plays Games. His comment was, take his mom on a date and give him no job. <laughs> George, who let you out of nursery? Get back inside. Someone, <laughs> someone said, call the police. Why, what are they going to do? Like, hello. <laughs> someone commented, destroy him for revenge. Just, just destroy him. <laughs> Turn him into ashes. Take his mom out on a date and give him no job. <laughs> hey, Wimp, give me your money. But it's all I have for the week. I don't care. Pass it over. Hey, man, leave me alone. Just take mine. Don't take his. Guess this works. I'm taking your money next time, Wimp. Ah, oh, there he is. This time we're not at school. There's nobody here to save him. Oh, no. That bully's going to take his money again. Here, take my money. Please don't take his. Bro is really out here robbing himself. I think I've got the life lesson already. I don't need to see the ending. Basically, if you see someone's about to get robbed, you should hand over all your money instead and basically buy him out of being robbed. These videos truly are inspiring. Why are you even doing this for him? You guys aren't even friends. He doesn't have a lot of money because his parents are going through rough times. Why should I care? Here, let me show you. Here you go, mom and dad. I got us all some ice cream. Wow, I didn't realize it was that bad. That's why you should always treat people with respect. You're right. I'll never bully ever again. At Isaac Mega Knight said, I always treat people with respect because I have no idea if they're going through this. Don't worry, Isaac. I'm not very good at maths or coming up with statistics, but I don't think many parents... Maybe, I don't know actually, I don't think many parents are so homeless they're getting heat from a barrel. And obviously the kid made the right decision getting ice cream. He went to a place called Skibidilly Toilet. What, who wouldn't want to get an ice cream from there? This has probably been the most enjoyable video I have made in a long time. I generally had a lot of fun making this content. So if you guys want me to look at any other good side of the community, maybe that I've called in the past cringe, not all of it, but part of it, then let me know in the comments down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and you don't think about calling the police on me. With that being said, I'll see you next time.